so students today we will study about raut hurwitz criteria so let us move ahead and see the criteria now general contents we will take today will be contents stability and why investigate stability example of unstable system and ruth hurwitz stability criteria and the rules the rest three special case practical use and the reference we will take in next slide so the important topic is what is stability so how your system must be stable so it is known as a process to find out if a system is stable or not so this is known as a stability stability is nothing but uh, to know whether your system is stable or not so number 1 says a system is stable if every bounded input yields a bounded output uh, means your output must be bounded it should not go beyond the bounded limits or it should not be damping so this states the stability the second is a system is unstable if any bounded input yields an unbounded output unbounded means that is not bounded and it may go beyond your prediction so the basic uh, important point is your stability of the system now the reason behind the investigation of the stability is most important issue is to design a control system means if you are designing a control system without a stability of a system so it is not possible so if you know the output of a system whether it is stable whether it is not stable whether it is marginally stable so you can go ahead with that parameters so an unstable feedback system is a no practical value now a stable system should exhibit a bounded output as discussed in previous the output must be bounded within some limits output if the corresponding input is bounded now one of the famous example of unstable system see in the image you can see the bridge so in first image the bridge is there in sec second image you see the bridge is broken so the dramatic photograph showing the collapse of the tacoma narrow suspension bridge on november 7 40 so the figure a shows that a twisting motion of the bridge is center span just before the failure means it was twisting without been broken first that was in a twisting so after a few minutes the first piece of a concrete fell this second photograph shows a 600 feet section of a bridge breaking out of the suspension span okay and turning upside down as it is crashed so this is a unstable system now the best example to understand stable and unstable graph wise is you can see in real part in positive x axis that is your unstable region and y axis you are having an imaginary part so in imaginary part in y axis in x axis you are having unstable and in y axis in negative side you are having a stable region that is an imaginary part okay so both is stable region and this side you are having unstable region so stability region according to the rules obtained by the characteristics equation okay so this is unstable region and this is your stable region so these concept whether we can understand the stability of the system by the three points number 1 is a stable system if natural response approach is zero as as the time approaches infinity so that is the system is your stable now in unstable system if the natural response grows without bound as time approaches infinity means the response of that system is not bounded okay number 3 marginally stable so if the natural response neither decays nor grows but remains constant <coughs> or oscillates as time approaches infinity so this is your marginally stable so output of the system <coughs> with respect to time states its stability now the contribution of characteristics equation rules to close loop response see the graph is your imaginary part and real part and the point you can see is on imaginary part so the output will be graph you can see second is 
a positive real root when the root is positive and is real the first one is negative real root okay so it is in roots okay in that positive real root the graph is exponentially moving upwards number third is complex roots negative real part so it is somewhat moving towards moving fro oscillating after increasing and the next one is compressed roots positive real part so here you can identify four things negative real root positive real root complex roots negative real part and complex root positive real part okay so the stability of the root hurwitz criteria after solving the equation the characters equation of nth order continuous system so this is an nth order a raised to n f s raised to n plus a raised to n minus 1 and by s raised to n minus 1 plus so the stability criteria is applied using routh which is defined as so all the coefficient s raised to n s raised to n into s raised to n minus 1 moving side and all the coefficients are taken here a raised to n a raised to n minus 1 now we are taking just b raised to b1 is the a raised to n minus 1 to a raised to n minus 2 minus a raised to n into a raised to n minus so this is the multiplication pattern you can see b2 you can see b2 what is the oh, in b2 that is a raised to n minus 1 up uh, is on the denominator side so c1 and c3 following this so this is the basic format of your routh hurwitz stability criteria now this right hurwitz criteria means the number of roots in the open right half plane is equal to the number of sign changes in the first column of root array so in the route service criteria the basic is the sign must not change okay so the rules you can see there should be no missing term the term is missing s2 is missing another rule is all variables should be of same sign so if the sign is different so there will be a problem so up till now what we have studied is the root service criteria system stability and the basic rule of this root hurwitz means you cannot uh, the equation must not miss any order of your order of your system 3 to 4 s raised to 4 s raised to 3 and s square is missing and in second one you can see the 3 s square is having a negative sign so your equation must have a single positive sign so if this is if these two are missing so the system is not what you can say uh, stable so thank you